but that's the feel you got when you finally found it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> Step back. One more, two more. <laughs> Adios. Hold on. I don't know why I always forget about it. My name is Dennis, this is for Chicago News, shall we? When first electric cars showed up on the market, most of us were skeptical, because it's hard to imagine everyday life without the proper station infrastructure. If something new and exciting is showing up in the US market, it's always popping up in California. Therefore, this is the only one state besides Hawaii, where you can walk to the dealership and get one of those. So let's talk about looks. Yes, it does remind you a very famous Prius, where the ugliest part, in my view, this rear fender that looks like two cars been put together. For the record, Toyota calls it aerodynamic shape. The rest of the exterior looks good. I really like this atmospheric blue color and I really like the front LED lights that do quite a good job during the nighttime. Let's hop in and see how it drives and also talk to some of the current owners. By this time you'll probably be wondering, how the heck I'm gonna refuel this car? And I'm not going to lie, sometimes it could be challenging to find a station. Like right now, decisions, decisions. Go to the station that I know for sure is open and working because we used it a few days ago to refuel this car or to check out a new one that is closer, but I'm gonna waste some miles left. Sometimes I wish to have a nap that will show me that this current station is currently down, or you can go to this one and it's currently up and running. There are some solutions, but unfortunately they are not working the way it's supposed to be. They are showing you station here and there, but most of them offline and you cannot get a real status. On the plus side, it's very fun to get other drivers behind you nervous, skip the traffic using carpool lanes, or go through the tollways free of charge. And while I'm checking out the closest station to me, uh, it will take a few minutes to get there, let me put my glasses on to talk about how fuel cell vehicle works. In order to understand Mirai better, you have to drive it, you have to experience it or read a lot of manuals, which I don't have time for. So the hydrogen gets to the fuel cell, it gets mixed with the oxygen to get this chemical reaction that produces electricity. Now more simple stuff. Up front, under the hood, you have electrical engine, which produces 151 horsepower and more importantly, 247 pound-feet of torque. It moves this Mirai with ease, so you get 66 mpg e in the city or on the highway. To be honest, I have 36 miles left in my tank and I have to drive about 30 miles to the next station to find out if it's working or not. Toyota currently offers 15k or 3 years in a fuel car that you can use on those stations. So if you decide to go and buy one of those, you'll get the card. You can activate it and you can pay for the fuel on the station using this card. So let's do some math here. You have $60,000 car minus 5,000 tax credit that you can get from the government, an HOV sticker to use the carpool at any given day. So if you count all the incentives, it comes down to about 40K. Let's talk about the technology part. With the Mirai, you get Toyota Safety Sense 2.0, very comfortable and good quality seats. And I'm not only talking about the front seats, look at the back. I would love to sit a little bit lower, but I think Toyota cannot let you do that, simply because you have this Prius style dash. Also, one of the convenient features is the seat slides back and forth when you open the door. Let's look at the dash. 70 miles an hour right now on the freeway. It's very quiet. It's very enjoyable to drive one of those. It's heavily focused on the comfort and the suspension set delivers. And it's not slow by any possible means, considering this is more than 4,000 pounds. 
there is a few things that already need to be improved. First of all, in my opinion, those green and orange lights need to be reworked. I know Lexus already got this wide long screen and if they put this one long screen into the dash instead of those two smaller ones, it will definitely make this dash look better. And that's where you can hide your lights. These telescopic steering wheels should be able to move forward. For a taller person like me, you have to really move your seat forward in order to grab the steering wheel. If you get steering wheel all the way back, most likely you will find out your knee between this panel and steering wheel. And yes, here is no Android Auto or Apple CarPlay in the vehicle that's been powered by hydrogen, that's got wireless charger for your cell phone. Come on, Toyota. Seriously? Time to time in our reviews, you can hear me saying, okay, I'll be quiet for a few seconds. I'll let you hear the engine sound. I'll let you hear how it sounds when you drive it. And when it comes to the Toyota Mirai, I don't know really what you're gonna hear. And brakes. And power. And brakes and power <laughs> doesn't it sound like a trolley well at least we're not getting some sort of a aggressive sound through the speakers when you're trying to cruise around doing 10 20 miles an hour scoring the best possible eco number out of this system you'll most likely play some classic very relaxed music it's built for the classic music for something chill and relaxed. And that's when you're gonna find this GBL logo on the back. It's hiding back there. In my opinion, not the best car stereo, but way better than some standard ones. Again, you stop at the red light, you can hear how quiet it is. And the other convenient feature is front and back heated seats and heated steering wheel. After driving this vehicle for a week, not sure what happens, but sounds like some places deliberately trying to slow down the progress when it comes to refuel and hydrogen vehicle. The station that we saw was not operating for quite some time. And when I called it, they told me, yeah, it was supposed to be fixed today. Then my colleague decided to call them again and at least to check out if the other closest station is up and running to make sure we're not gonna drive the rest of the miles and ended up with the same story. When she called it, like 10 minutes later, they were making another excuse right away. Sometimes it's really hard to find another rare sample like this Mirai on the road. Yesterday I saw six Mirais standing in one line next to the FCV station that was currently working. And everybody was saying, great vehicle, great lease prices, but finding the fuel is a big issue. If you're planning to buy a used Mirai. So my question is, will Toyota do something to push forward used ones? Because obviously Tesla did a great job providing free electricity, free superchargers. For those who pioneer their vehicles in the beginning. Kevin Perry, I like the vehicle. It's very smooth, very quiet good acceleration a lot of good things about it there's a couple two three bad issues that I've had with them ever since the beginning was one availability of hydrogen the pumps being out I would say six months out of the last two years I had to shuffle around to different places to get some gas touchless phone charger it's very small they didn't design it for you know the regular phones this was the 2017 they already had those big screen phones and they didn't think about doing that. So it's useless feature. So overall, the interior quality is good. This leather seating, very smooth, very comfortable, good AC air conditioning, good acceleration. But these are few things that I was not very happy. And the biggest problem was always getting hydrogen. I'm not one of the green, you know, green uh, piece type of person, but I like to pitch in as much as I can. And thought this is a good way to start and people were always pointing out hey your car is leaking something I said don't worry it's water <laughs> don't worry
I have to say, Toyota has done a tremendous job educating people like me about the possible future of the automotive industry. I've learned that the first fuel cell generator was built by Francis Thomas Bacon that was producing 5 kilowatt of power. Around 1950s, 1960s, NASA powered the spacecraft electronics using the fuel cell technology. Hydrogen was used in 1960s to power forklifts, and in early 2000s it was used to power German submarines. It all comes down to one simple fact. Hydrogen fuel was here for decades. Hydrogen fuel is here for almost a century. We all want to get a better future for this planet, but it's never been easy or cheap to be a pioneer. But nevertheless, the world will eventually push forward. As it was done by Henry Ford, Thomas Edison and others, the world is filled with the same cars. And if you're one of those folks, open-minded people, I will encourage you to push forward. I will encourage you to try the Mirai, because one day alternative fuel will mean a better world for all of us. You want to wear it? Maybe you want to wear it. Nobody wants it? If you don't feel this is your everyday outfit, better subscribe now. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell and watch the newest and coolest bikes and cars every single week, as soon as they come out.